Imagine a world where young refugee women are able to attend school each day and participate in the economy. A world where your gender doesn't define your opportunities. That's the world we are working to build. We're WISP, Women in STEM Solving Problems. And we're going to tell you about our project, Sanitary Pads for Economic Empowerment. It's designed to lift refugee women from exclusion and their communities from poverty with this new product and a supporting economic infrastructure. Malawi is a country in southeastern Africa with a population of nearly 19 million people. It is a peaceful but poor country. More than half of Malawians live on less than one U.S. dollar per day. Despite the country's poverty, 40,000 refugees live in Malawi. Most refugees come from the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, Ethiopia, and Somalia. Meet Rose. She is 15 years old and living in Zalika, a refugee camp in Malawi. Rose and her seven siblings have lived at this camp since she was nine years old after her family fled the Democratic Republic of Congo in search of a safer place to live. Rose loves school and dreams of becoming a nurse. Every morning, she wakes up early to do chores before she leaves for school. Her chores include getting some water for her family at the borehole and helping her younger siblings get ready for school. This morning, however, she began to menstruate, so she's uncertain about going to school. She doesn't have adequate menstrual products to use for protection. She can use rolled up cloth, which works well enough if she stays home, but if she goes to school, it will leak. Today, and for the next three to four days, she decides to stay home from school. She'll try to do some schoolwork, but most of these days she'll do domestic chores. As months and years pass, Rose's way of coping with menstruation will mean she will miss 300 instructional days before she turns 18, which is equivalent to one and a half school years. The gaps in her learning will be significant. Not only will they affect her performance on national exams, they will pull her away from her academic goals and toward a domestic role which will leave her dependent and powerless. Why does Rose use rolled up cloth? For her, it is the only practical way to cope with her period. Currently, there are two other menstrual products available for women to use at the camp, reusable pads and disposable pads. However, neither of these products are viable solutions. The reusable pads require water for washing, but there is a significant water shortage at the camp. Residents live on less than half of the 20 liters of water per day that the World Health Organization recommends. Water is a precious resource that her family cannot afford to sacrifice to wash menstrual pads. Disposable pads are given to the girls as part of their refugee rations, but the pads are often exchanged to provide food for the family instead. In addition, disposable pads have a negative impact at the camp because there are few ways to safely dispose of waste. When WISP learned about this problem in 2019, we couldn't believe that this issue hadn't already been solved, so we set out to solve it. We wanted to design a pad that would provide a menstrual solution for women living in a low water, low resource community. After many design iterations, a hybrid pad was created and WISP felt the product was ready to be tested. We mailed the pads to teen girls living at Salika and then met them on Zoom to learn about their experiences. During these focus groups, WISP learned about the different ways the product was being used. Salika teens were inserting disposable pads into the hybrid pad. This seemed to have two significant positive outcomes. The disposable pad stayed in place and the disposable pad didn't fall apart as it absorbed fluid. This was significant since it allowed the girls to use fewer disposable pads each day. The hybrid pad provided necessary structure and added protection. Their ration of disposable pads was able to last longer and the girls were able to go to school each day. Some of the Zalika girls inserted cloth into the elastic sewn on the hybrid pad. Again, the reports were glowing. The hybrid pad kept the cloth in place and the girls felt more secure during their daily activities. 
After hearing how the product added value to the menstruating teens living at Zalika, WISP decided to apply for a patent and further develop the idea into a larger initiative that would give the materials, tools, sewing work, and business training to displace women so that they can produce the WISP hybrid pad and generate a source of income. In the fall of 2021, WISP launched a local manufacturing and distribution program at Zalika. Refugee teen girls were trained how to make and sell the WISP pad and manage their business. The WISP hybrid pad is now more than a means to keep a girl in school. It has become a route for young women to learn new skills and earn an income. 1,000 of WISP's hybrid pads sewn and sold by Zalika Teen Girls will be on the market in January 2022. This will be enough pads to provide a menstrual solution for 200 women for one year. With over 15,000 menstruating women living at the camp, more WISP pads are needed to fully equip the entire refugee camp with a sustainable, safe, dependable menstrual product. A donation of $15,000 would provide a menstrual solution for one year for 5% of the camp's population. $27,000 would support 10%, and $70,000 would provide coverage for 25% of the women living at Zalika. All donations support the sewing and business training for the refugee teens. When WISP is able to meet the menstrual needs of 100% of the women living at Zalika, 75,000 instructional days will be recovered, dozens of newly skilled female business owners will add almost 10,000 working hours to the economy, and there will be 3 million fewer disposable pads per year in the camp sanitation system. Donate today to provide a sustainable menstrual product to students and training for women as business owners. Your donation will keep girls in school and empower women by elevating their ability to strengthen the community.